The future of a century-old building is now in the hands of the Hendersonville City Council. Now today, the council heard four very different proposals for the old gray hosiery mill. News 13's John Lee joins us live in Hendersonville. John, sounds like council members want to move quickly. Well, of course, generations have grown up around this barren building. As usual, the door locked right there. But if you take a look inside the window, peek down the hall there, you can see it is deteriorating. The city owns the building that has no plans for it, so time is of the essence. We all know Hendersonville can be a pretty picture, especially to summer tourists. What they don't see today are snapshots of a proud past. You expect Freddy Krueger to come around the corner any moment. But the images become scary with time. Beautiful hardwood floors that have just been destroyed. This is a room in one of the atriums that is totally collapsed. Breaks your heart to think that this is where it is now. Entrepreneur Marie Lachance is talking about a Hendersonville relic, the gray hosiery mill on Grove Street, still seeing beauty in the structure that went up in 1915. We'd used as a garden for wedding, outdoor weddings. The plant closed in the 60s, and the city has no plans to redevelop it. So Marie's idea is to create a marketplace and event space. She wants to give residents reason to smile about the deteriorating real estate that kind of makes her sad. This is a federally registered historical building. Uh, we would be saving it, if you will, and making it part of the community again. And we hope that you will agree. Marie's concept just among the four proposals made to city council. One of which we'll choose that hopefully will be the greatest benefit to the public. The pitches also included plans to develop condos, build affordable rentals for struggling artists, and create classroom space to be leased to Wingate University. And after all these years, there's a sense of urgency. Uh, there's definitely consensus on council that we need to make um, something happen as quickly as possible. Councilman Jerry Smith. Um, and the state of the building currently, there's uh, some repair issues that obviously the longer you wait, the more difficult they become. The bathrooms speak for themselves. As a Hendersonville business owner, Lachance already feels emotionally invested. It's almost like you're tapping into the spirit of those people that used to work there and bringing it back to life. But it remains up to city council whether she's financially invested too. And City Council hoping to choose one of those four proposals by Thursday. Reporting live in Hendersonville, I'm John Lee, News 13.